Hello everyone and welcome back to my Ultimate JNSQ series in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. In this video, we need to bring everybody back basically because we need to rescue John Long from Orbit of Kerbin. Of course, John Long is on his way to Minmus right now and we need to bring him back to fulfill this contract and then Hillbull needs to be brought back to fulfill this contract. But I also picked up this Rotate the Crew of Moon Station contract and that requires Jeb back as well. So we basically need everybody back. Otherwise, we would normally have just left Jeb over at the Minmus station and yeah so we need to launch a crew vessel over to the Minmus station so that Hillbull can come back and I, I don't know maybe we'll send somebody else over to the Minmus station in order to I mean are they gonna have a rotate the crew of Minmus station contract here uh, let's see bases and stations mm, no so yeah uh, but return a surface sample from Mimus Basins to Mimus Station. But I think before I do that, uh, well, it expire too quickly, so I'll pick it up. Before I do that, though, I'm definitely going to want to try again to get rid of USI to see if that helps things. So first we'll bring everybody back, and then we will remove USI and see if things work. And... Maybe Kerbalism works nicer like that? I don't know. There's been a lot of things to deal with, so maybe that'll help, maybe it won't. I don't know. It's the only uh, major mod that could be interfering with things, as far as I know. Okay, I've just decided to keep things simple, and we're launching a Minmus Leo over to Minmus. And even though it has two seats and we're not sending an extra Kerbal, we'll do this un uncrewed. We'll send it over there just for Hillbull, and Hillbull will have extra room on the way back, I guess. So, SAS on, ignition. Oh, throttle up. And launch. Alright, off to a great start. <laughs> Looking good. Booster is about to finish up. And booster set. I wonder why MechJeb wasn't working properly though, that's another thing. You'll notice the lack of MechJeb even though I'm supposed to have MechJeb. But, uh, yeah. Oh, I, it fell just short, okay that's good. Just about right. So it deorbits. Okay, 103 by 81. Well, it uh, looks like we can do an off-plane transfer just fine, so that's good. We gotta have the periapsis right at the ascending node for the station. That'll make yeah, and it's like really in line with the station almost. So that's gonna make it easy to rendezvous with that. Okay. Okay, and ignition. I forgot to ditch the little nose cap again, though. Should have dumped it into the atmosphere. Okay. As close as that gets. Let's see. Alright, well, we're not exactly right. With RCS. And it doesn't look like we need a mid course adjustment at all. Okay, that's very good. That's better than I could have asked for. So, RCS off. Let's get rid of the nose cap before I forget that again. Okay, and where's the sun? Okay, well that's just perfect. Okay, so let me just get an SOI change alarm here. Okay, this comes in first before the Minmus Leo. So, alright. Well, we'll just have that alarm there, just in case I over time warp or something. And we are heading out there. Uh, let me make sure we have all our, um, whatchamacallit, notifications. Uh, because I turned off storm on other things, now I have to remember to turn on storm for the spacecraft that will be carrying Kerbals, right? So, yeah. Very important. Make sure this one has storm as well. Yes. Okay. What do 
otherwise we're going to have some very irradiated Kerbals. There's uh, Jeb and John Long heading in, but we're actually getting there ahead of time. Uh, they, they'll be hitting it, hitting Minmus over here. We need a. I still want a nice space shuttle to pick up all these pods and bring them back. And it's not exactly stock, so it's gonna be. I'm not used to making space shuttles at this scale. You know, right? I've got RSS where got 50-50 chance of getting back to Cape Canaveral <laughs> uh, or wherever I'm supposed to land. And then there's stock where I, I can certainly bring it back every time. And then there's this, but I haven't tried space shuttles in JNSQ or this scale before. So that might be an interesting thing. Well, we might want to hold off a bit so that the marker starts adjusting. Okay. Now we get the little marker going around. Uh, okay. Oh, well, uh, that that's too low, right? That's oh. Yeah, that's too low. We need to go back up. Well, fortunately, we have plenty of delta v. And use this encounter. Two point one. That's within render range. Okay. And this is the side facing Kerbin as well, so that's good. Maybe we can transfer the spare fuel in this over. I mean, that right there was the easiest thing I've done in a long time. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was just. Didn't even need a mid-course adjustment. It wasn't overshooting and missed by a whole lot. We uh, got a direct line with uh, uh, opportunity to capture in line with the station. Yeah, really couldn't have asked for anything better. All right, let's. Uh, oh, but we don't. We can't transfer fuel across these things. Resource transfer obeys crossfeed rules. I'm just gonna turn that off. Yeah. Then it's just a quality of life thing. So that we don't have to put fuel lines across them all the time. Okay, so now let's see, we should be able to transfer, yes. Okay, so we don't waste that stuff. And we will try and get Hillwell back, so... I'll just use ship manifest. Okay. So, other Leo command pod, right. Minute, not really We're gonna dump this stage now. And we will do that by lowering our orbit and have it crash into Minmus. This also dumps the mob propellant that we're not going to be using. Okay, off it goes and it should crash. So that is free. And we should probably lift our orbit up again. Okay, more than enough. And we can transfer back. So this Hilbo will be on his way back. Oh, uh, her, right? Her way back. And while Jeb and John Long are getting here still. Well, we don't want to get into the atmosphere, right? We need to capture back over there into a low orbit first. We'll just go 120. That'll be fine. Ignition. Oh, the plume is doing the Minmus thing again. Oh well. That's another thing I don't understand why. There's no way removing USI is going to fix that. There's something else going on with that. Hmm. Maybe there's an update to a visual mod pack that could fix that. I should look for all sorts of updates. I'm sure they've fixed things. I tend to be very reluctant to change mods once I've got everything working and in install but everything's not quite working so I'll just have to hunt for updates in the later game 
Uh, we will probably kick out Kerbalism and bring back USI. For now, I would prefer Kerbalism stuff to USI stuff, but um, we'll bring back USI and then we'll probably just do life support its way because it's got sort of more of a future to it, <laughs> you know, in the long term than Kerbalism offers. But we'll see. Uh, let's get this out into Kerbin SOI first. Okay. And I'm going to make a maneuver at Periapsis, of course. Okay, that will do the trick. And I'll add that alarm. We'll give ourselves 15 minutes. Okay, so now we can focus on Jeb and John Long, Hillbull. Um, let's make sure Hillbull is tail to the sun, not nose to the sun. Ah, we don't need the RCS. Okay. Sweet. Perfect. All right. Yes. Back to Jeb and John Long. Um, we're uh we're just demonstrating that we could do this basically. <laughs> uh, go from the moon to Minmus and everything. You know. There's not really a point to it anymore. Oh, uh, where is the green sandstone? Is the green sandstone still with with Hillbull or not? Hmm. Or is it on the station? Well, I guess they have a reason to rendezvous with the station just to check that Hillbull did not leave it behind or something. I think we're just going to discard a stage. If we try and capture it, well, it could do part of the capture burn, but I don't want it to stick around Minmus for any length of time. Okay, uh, uh, that's still escape for it, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, it will just be flung into a very high urban orbit. That's fine by me. Let's get rid of it. And happy little spark. Well, I guess they could take the lander down. We have that one contract to bring a sample to the station, right? Yeah, we can have one of them collect the surface sample. It said Minmus Basins again. So, we have a specific location that we need to get to. Okay, why why does it show that I'm pointing directly at the target when I'm not? Hold on. Um, here. This is pointing directly at the target. Now, I say control from here. Yeah. And uh, let, let me uh, target Mimus Station like that. And then I'm going to set that as a tar target. Oh, now it's showing it like that. But it, it showed that as the target before. I don't know what the heck it was targeting. Alright, well, anyway. Can't trust these things these days. Okay, so... Right. Uh, that's the lander. And the lander has ample fuel to land, though ignition-wise, um, we'll have to rely on the ant engines because, well, the spark engine has 54 seconds worth of remaining burn time. I'm just going to shut that off right now. Oh, it's already shut off. We will send Jeb over. Now we need Jeb to land in a basin. Let's make sure we've got food, water, and oxygen. We do. We've got mob propellant. We could probably send over some extra mob propellant if there's extra mob. The little mob propellant tanks here. Okay. So, off we go. There's no indication that there's the green sandstone in here, right? I suppose Hillville carried it with him. Okay, so is this big flat portion a basin? 
Or do we have to... That's probably a basin, right? Over there. This might be a basin. Maybe. Let me let me check over this one. We'll have Jeb EVA out, and then we'll see. Okay, are you a basin? Let's see. We've got we've got nitrogen. Not a lot though. Uh, low basins, space low basins. So, yeah, I guess it's a basin, but we don't can't get a new crew or anything. We will kill our remaining velocity and go down right here. It better stay basins. Hopefully we can get Jeb another star. And jeez. Now we're on the ant engines, so we have to be careful. They take a while to do things. Okay. Now we're just going mostly straight down. Let's try and get that more decisive. Okay, and let's have Jeb double check. Low basin. Space low basins. And it says basins. So we will do this thing. It's weird that the cabins are lighter than the lander can cabins. I mean, these are re-entry cabins with heat shielding on them. But they're lighter than the lander cabins, that's why I've been using them here. But the whole point of lander cabins is that they're supposed to be lighter than the heat shielded re-entry cabins, capsules, whatever, spacecraft. So, yeah. Well, that's how we get this situation where we're landing a Gemini spacecraft on the surface of Minmus. Okay, nice landing, and let's have Jeb do Jeb's thing. I mean, we've probably already done stuff here, right? No, I guess we haven't. Surface sample, we'll just hang on to the ladder and EVA report. We'll let Jeb plant a flag, of course, but... Okay, Jeb has done those things. Um, I'll just have Jeb carry them for now. And we'll have Jeb at Minmus Basins. Uh, this has been a long mission. We've been doing a lot of stuff. Okay. Hopefully there'll be stars for Jeb in the future. Okay, and board. We don't have to pick up any rock, in theory. Already did that. Okay, we're already targeting the station. Let's just go... ...eastward. Oh, engine malfunction. Oh, interesting that I can work on one uh, ant, but we probably don't want it to work on one ant. This is what the spark... Well, the ants are supposed to be backup for the sparks, but... Uh, well, we sort of have the spark for this. Okay, apple apples burn. Oh, 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 too far. Apple apples burn. Well, that wasn't the most accurate thing ever. But we should be able to use some RCS to fix. Oops, not what I wanted. Fix that up. And yeah, there's a little separation of 0.6, our periapsis should be safe. And we are on our way. The rest could probably be done just with RCS, so... Yeah, but it's safe for now, despite the malfunctioning ant engine. And it has no remaining burn time on the ant. No remaining burn time. Let me make sure that's just not because of time warp. Yep, no remaining burn time, technically speaking, on those engines. So, yeah. We'll have to replace those if we want to reuse this lander. It's been a nice lander. Okay. Well, while they still might ignite, I'll try it. 
Okay, and ignition. All right, we don't need the engines anymore. And one of the end engines is still on, isn't it? Yeah, doesn't show it on the staging though. Uh, it's a bit off. Uh, uh, okay, okay, magnetism. Magnetism. Okay, we locked. All right. Transferring Jeb back over, so we should have gotten that. Hmm. Collect surface sample from. Return it to Minma Station. Right? Uh, didn't Jeb get the surface sample? Jeb. Did Jeb eat the surface sample? Okay, well. It says Minma Station surface sample. Mimus landed Brown Midlands though. Oh, we landed in the Brown Midlands instead of the Basin. I I didn't check which biome we were in. Gosh, Brown Midlands. Well, we'll just do the Basin uh, surface sample contract later then. All right. Yeah. I mean, I had tried to check that we were over the Basin. It looked like a Basin, but it ended up being Brown Midlands instead. Is are we carrying the surface sample back with us? No. So, hold on a sec. Okay, we're redocked. Now, how do I move the surface sample? Uh, let's have Jeb EVA and see if he can grab it. Take data. Okay, Jeb's got the surface sample. Alright. I wonder what happened to the rock, though. The green sandstone. None of data transferred from Jeb to Mimma Station. Okay. Undock. Switch. Now. It still says no samples. But, 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 but I picked it up. We had it on Jeb. Okay. Okay, Jeb, now that you're undocked. <laughs> okay. Now, how much nitrogen do we have? Okay, we have plenty. EVA. Now that's undocked, go get it. Okay, take data. Okay. And it says, on Jeb, there's a surface sample. All right. I don't remember this being this much trouble. Port, report, port, port. Okay. Okay, Mimus Leo now has surface sample, but then it also had that message that said none of it was transferred. So it's complicated. All right, let's go back home finally. Okay, well, that ends up being about the same on the periapsis there. Okay. How's our engine doing? I mean, we just started it, really. Plenty of ignitions and everything. Backup system with the ants as well. And ignition. And weird plumage. Okay, and that should do enough. Periapsis, well, okay, a little bit of RCS. Alright, and then let me get into Kerbin SOI here. We are departing Minimus after a brief stint. The transfer is going to take 3 days, 21 hours. It says we have 10 days, but I'm going to divide by 2 because uh, this these are 12 hour days and that's probably a 24 hour day, so we, but we still have enough. And as long as we don't do anything silly. Okay, let me plot the periapsis burn. And we'll add that alarm. Okay. So, yes. We can jump to Hillbull now. Please have the green sandstone. Please have the green sandstone. Nope, oh, it's uh, not been very consistent about keeping the orientation with the sun. Okay, better. Let us continue to our planned maneuver. Then we should be able to get Hillbull down before we have to deal with Jeb and John Long. 
Hygiene suspended. We don't need to suspend hygiene. Hold on. Why are water resources getting low? We seem to have plenty. Don't you be suspending hygiene. You guys better clean up. We want you presentable for the press and everything. Yeah, I mean, it's the expected amount. Jeez. I don't know. Do not suspend hygiene. <laughs> Your regular consumption of water will do. Hellbowl has 8% stress, 8% radiation as we've crossed the radiation belts. Mild panic? You don't need to panic. We did very good calculations on this. The best people were involved. Okay, ignition. A pretty huge burn. Okay, well that's pretty circular right there. All right, and we are going to bring Hillbull down and gonna try to get Hillbull down to the space center. So we're going to go around and prep that. Let's say around here. I'm going to retro. Okay. Right. I think, uh, let's check that there's enough food, water, and oxygen in the pod. Seems that way. And then we can dump the service module. Off it goes. Then we'll check parachutes. Arm parachutes. Hillbull is a biologist, so we're gonna have to keep an eye on retrograde. <laughs> And I'll tell you, I'm I'm done with Minmus and Moon for a little bit. I want to time warp to that Eve transfer window and send a nice big ship with some Kerbal on. Just on a flyby of Eve. Obviously not a landing, <laughs> but a flyby of Eve. Eve, An Eve transfer and return should be quicker than the Duna one overall, I think. So hopefully it'll be safer. Let's see. Kerbin to Eve. Um, let's go for the next one though. Okay. Add that alarm. So let's get rid of the curb alarm clock one. That's the actual one. And it says arrival year three, day 164. And so we'll see when we can come back. Well, not year 34. Okay, so Eve yeah, to Kerbin. Oh, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, let's adjust our angle here as our service module explodes. Um, no, I said okay, that is arriving at year 3, day 164. Year 3, 164. And I want year four here. Eve to Kerbin. Don't mess with me, with, with me, game. Total delta V. That's a lot of ejection delta V, to be honest. But then that's to 100 kilometers. And, okay, that's what I expected. So then arrival back at Kerbin year four, day 100. Okay. So the total amount of time. Basically a full year. A little bit more than a full year. So that's going to be longer than we've had Kerbals out there so far. It'll be a real test. We'll need resources. We'll need radiation shielding, of course. But we have a budget. I don't know if it's worth it or not. We'll see about the contracts. We're a little bit past uh, the Space Center, but not too far away. Ice flows. Spontaneous ice flow generation. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why, but... Maybe there's a way to turn that off. What, uh, why do they sort of reflect the clouds, too? What's going on there? They're so glassy that they reflect the clouds. 
Okay. Well, that's a nice stable way to float. Catch up and everything. Let's recover before it sinks or something. Alright. Alright. Uh, 15 science earned. Did we get the little green sandstone or not? It didn't... We didn't... I don't know where the green sandstone is. I don't know where the green sandstone is. I have no idea where the green sandstone is right now. <laughs> it's very frustrating. Because <laughs> Hilbel had the green sandstone. We checked on the station. There wasn't any green sandstone floating around. As far as I know. There was no way to pick up... Because Jeb went to the pod, the lander pod, and took data from it. And that's the only way we can get data off of it. And I don't know where the green sandstone is. We definitely got green sandstone. Well, at least we rescued Hillbull. Well, maybe when we bring Jeb back, he'll have the green sandstone, but I somehow doubt it. Okay, let's bring Jeb and John Long back. I mean, is there any indication from this thing where the heck my green sandstone could be? How, how do I check that? This is science archive. Now... Surface sample. Well, surface sample is not the, quite the same as green sandstone. Material study. I mean, none of these is green sandstone. You know, those little things that we pick up. I don't know where those go with Kerbalism. Okay, we've crossed the radiation belts and our situation is Jeb has 42% radiation, 9% stress. John Long has 33% radiation, 8% stress. Oh, okay. Uh, we need it to burn now. Okay, okay. That's good enough. Right. Once again, going around. This time I'll do the retro a little bit earlier. Alright, let's say there. Okay. We are re-entering. And the pod. Well, let's get all available food, water, and oxygen into it. All right, that right there should be more than adequate. So, radial or normal. And separation. Ouch. Okay, hopefully that didn't hurt the heat shield. Well, Jeb at least can hold retrograde. Okay, re-entry is occurring. Okay, we seem to be through the worst of it. And... Well, we're close to Darud Helipad. I didn't think I had started out that much earlier, but apparently we... We deorbited much earlier. Or much earlier than we should have. But, it's okay. I'm sure they'll be alright. Darud Helipad sounds like we can get a helicopter out to them pretty quickly. Ominous clouds, though. Data, one slot. Well, that's the surface sample. I don't even know how to check if I have the green sandstone. It should just be an inventory item or something, right? But that would have carried along with Hillbull. And plop. All right. Recover vessel. Okay, uh, well, we got the surface sample. Uh, hopefully that actually means and Jeb got an extra level and we rotated the crew yeah uh, it was the wrong surface sample so we didn't satisfy this contract but we still didn't do the green sandstone so if somebody knows what happened to the green sandstone maybe you have better eyes than me uh, please tell me uh, we can bite the failure cost if necessary but we still got 12 years anyway uh, so yeah let me see if there's any 
EVE related contract specifically. We've got to launch a Duna space station, but not an EVE one. Support four Kerbals. I mean, I'll take it. Hopefully that won't have any problems with our intended removal of USI. And, I mean, we need other contracts. I want EVE contracts. Everything is Minmus or Moon. Still flag, flag planting on Minmus and Moon. Explore Duna. We should be doing soon. So I'll pick it up. That's just uh, probe landing. So we'll try such things. But they're not giving us anything for EVE, unfortunately. But maybe the Duna stuff... Uh, the Duna... Contracts can fund our EVE stuff. Well, Science Day from Surface of Gilly. Hmm. That's going to be tough. But duration 34 years, we might as well get it. Okay, maybe that'll... that. But that's not much money to do a crude uh, Science from Gilly thing. That'd be enough to do a probe, but... It's not really helping with my ambition to send our first crude interplanetary mission. So we'll think about that, and of course I need to see what happens with USI. So, but with that, and with our successes, such as they are, despite the green sandstone frustration, I'll say thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please do press like, if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below, and I will see you next time.